Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and it's your first time stumbling across me, my name's Tara and here at Tara Dayton Atelier I like to talk about all things sewing, vintage inspired and DIY style. In today's video I'm going to be talking about my vintage inspired capsule holiday wardrobe. So today's video should have been with you last week but due to various technical issues I had to refilm so I'm really sorry there wasn't a video last time last Thursday but hopefully you'll enjoy this one so I went away recently on a road trip around Europe and I had to pack a wardrobe I didn't have very much space so I couldn't pack too many things and it got me thinking about capsule wardrobes so I did a bit of internet research and most of the things that you know come up are are very sort of you know your basic jeans and t-shirts and everything sort of a bit beige and so on and I wanted to do something you know that was was my style so I came up with this idea of my vintage inspired capsule wardrobe so altogether I had 12 items of clothes and then a very few select accessories that sort of went with everything and I tried to do it so that everything was really interchangeable and everything went together and I'd have a very wide variety of outfit options that were suitable for varied weather conditions because I really didn't know what the weather was going to do. It could have snowed, it could have rained all the time, it could have been really, really hot. And actually, it ended up being a variety of all of those things, like every good holiday should. So I had three bottoms, six tops, a cardigan, a blazer and a dress. And then I took three pairs of shoes, a belt, a couple of bags, a coat for if it did get cold. I'm going to talk through the key pieces and then I'm going to show you um, a couple, just two or three of my favourite looks and then we'll meet back here for a, for a bit of a review. The first pieces that formed part of my vintage inspired holiday capsule collection are what I'm wearing. Uh, so the first thing and literally my favourite thing that I've ever, ever made and I wear all the time is my black circle skirt. This is a, a stretch cotton sateen um, and I've worn this all summer and now going into the autumn winter. Uh, this was brilliant on those hotter days so I wore this. I have lots of these um, roll neck or turtle neck I suppose you would call them jersey t-shirts I've got stripy ones and then several black black ones this is my go-to you know what I wear on most days when I'm sitting at my sewing machine sewing or running errands or doing whatever I have my vintage suede belt that's got little hearts on it that I bought from Hawk and Dub Vintage quite a long time ago now and I took this scarf, which was a gift. Um, I think it's probably from somewhere like Primark, but I always wear it as a sort of a turban hairband. I took my me made jeans, vintage inspired jeans. These are Simplicity 8447. I, I love this pattern so much that I also made a pair in black cool. The next item is a very old one that is one of my favorite cardigans from I always want to say Henny's, I'm showing my age slightly there, but it's this black cardigan with a little lace trim on it and three quarter sleeves. I wear this, I wore it on holiday, on holiday done up just as a, a um, you know, as a top in itself and then also traditionally as a cardigan should be worn. One of my favourite pieces in my wardrobe, it's a white vintage blouse from Hawk and Dove Vintage. It has this incredible collar. These sort of big, oversized, dramatic collars are very fashionable at the moment, but I've had this quite a long time. Uh, it has this wonderful embroidery, um, embroidered collar, these big sort of gathered sleeves. I feel very Byron-esque in this shirt, which is only a good thing. And then um, I was 
wondered when I was packing whether I should actually take two. I couldn't really decide. It was quite good that I did take two because when I was in Berlin, a bird pooped on me when I was wearing this one. So I was very glad to have this. This is a vintage piece from Houlihan and it's an original Alpen Tracton, which you would really wear with a dirndl. And it has this pin tucks, very pretty trim and these very lovely buttons. So every capsule wardrobe uh, should have a Breton tee, a stripy tee. But this pink stripy one, I'd originally it had a crew neck and I lowered it to make it more scooped. And I decided on the pink because I pink one. as my accent colour because the centre of the uh, little flowers on this Liberty print fabric are pink. And I also wanted to take my very beaten up, very old, but no less loved and very comfortable converse in this pink so that I could just sort of add the pink in. This is a, a Nina Lee London Bloomsbury blouse that I made. It's got this lo the lovely frill and this sort of orientally floral pattern. I'm really pleased that I took my little gingham sun top because Italy, when I went south in Italy, it was very hot. And actually there was a bit of a heat wave everywhere. So this with my circle skirt is one of my favourite outfits and I wore this um, probably the most because it, it didn't end up being as cold as I had anticipated. I took one dress with me which is this one made out of a, a very pretty um, poplin. Uh, this was one of my makes for Minerva uh, and I wore it a couple of times not as much as I would have liked to actually, um, but it's always nice to have a dress, a special dress that can be worn if you're going out for a meal or doing something special like, like that. My final item of clothing was this jacket, this blazer. It's again a Henny's or H&M piece that I bought from a charity shop for just a couple of pounds. It's a really lovely Prince of Wales check. Even though it's not vintage or particularly vintage in in its sort of silhouette as such, I, so I really love it and it just sort of went with everything. I also took these gold metallic loafers that I got from Clark's a long time ago. Like I tend to treat metallic shoes and accessories really as a, as a kind of neutral. I have the same attitude about leopard print as well. Just swapping these out from the, the Converse, which gave you a very casual look, and then putting these on just give you a little more of a dressed up look. And just extend that, extend all those pieces so you you've got lots of different options for all sorts of occasions or moods so here are a few of my favorite combinations of the pieces i've shown you i really did wear the jeans the gingham sun top and the circle skirt the most but it was really easy getting dressed when i'd already pre-thought all the options and you've got to do a bit of a swish and a skirt i also took these accessories the snake earrings are from h m the fortune teller's hand is from Pearl and Queenie. I strung, strung the pink hearts, semi-precious stone hearts, and made these earrings. The locket's a gift, as is the brooch, and the pearl earrings are from Marks and Spencers. And uh, here's my perfume and that a bit of a detail of that scarf, and a vintage handbag that I got from a charity shop. I worked out that with those pieces that I've just shown you I had 19 different looks which really was far more than enough for a, a two-week holiday but as I was on my holiday and wearing those outfits which it was super easy to get ready actually so that was you know a real benefit of having that having really thought that through in advance but I realized that there were a few gaps in that um that wardrobe 
and that I would like to add so some kind of dirndl dress which could have been worn over like even this top or over the roll neck or over the, the blouses. That would have been really, really lovely. So that's going on my um, planning list. A pencil skirt would have meant that I didn't have to wear the circle skirt absolutely all the time, which I really did wear that, I think, the most. That and the the Simplicity 8447 vintage inspired jeans. Um, and uh, I would really, much as I really love that blazer and it was a real find, I really would love some kind of vintage blazer or jacket something just a little bit more ladylike maybe a little bit more elegant and I'm um, I'm thinking about maybe some kind of skirt suit would be really lovely it wouldn't really have been suitable for those hot days but I just think you know I like that idea of having something that you can then wear in so many different ways just with a couple more items you could then extend your wardrobe. So I had 19 looks, but with an added dirndl dress, I think that would have taken that up to about um, another like 27 looks. So even with just those few pieces, you've really got a whole wardrobe. And then if you added in, say, a skirt suit, you know, with a, a, a blazer that really went with everything, you're, you, you've basically got everything covered. Now, I know that I'm never ever going to stick to a, you know, a limited wardrobe like that. I, I love clothes. I love making clothes. And, you know, it, it's a, you know, it's a real pleasure to me to play dress up all the time, especially with some of my vintage pieces and then planning makes and so on. You know, us sewers are all absolutely addicted to fabric and patterns and making. So... You know, this isn't something that's going to be the way that I dress from now on. I found this a really refreshing exercise and it's really given me a very, like a core wardrobe of pieces that I absolutely love. I know I love them because I've worn and worn and worn them. And by adding pieces to that or making different versions of those things, I know I'm going to have a wardrobe that is just perfect for me. And that is the whole point. So next week... I thought that it would be really interesting or helpful possibly to sort of go through like concept and planning your own vintage inspired capsule wardrobe and um, I hope that's something that you really will find interesting so I'm going to go over you know some of the key pieces and pattern suggestions a little bit about colour maybe and my um, you know how I'm approaching this this idea of a vintage inspired capsule wardrobe whatever you're doing this week i hope you're enjoying yourself we're in another lockdown here in the uk and i am sending you all my love and huge hugs to all of you who take the time to to listen to me waffle on about clothing and making clothes it really is incredible to have you here that you and your loved ones are well and happy and approaching lockdown with a positive attitude and I hope that it at very least gives you a little bit of extra sewing time. Take care till next week my lovelies. Bye!